one of the very first to, <laughs> to see this. Okay. So I'm going ahead with the demo. Yeah, yeah Bob. So the step of using the cartridge is broken down into three steps. You've got conditioning, loading, and then washing. Mm -hmm. The conditioning will just use two different solvents, so that will just be supplied again with just label that solvent A and B. Yeah. And this is all very affordable kit, again, can be supplied for our company. It's a simple, small vacuum pump, a liquid trap, and a vacuum manifold. We then apply the solutions with two different liquid handling pipettes. We provide like a starter kit for long slabs because we decided literally so like me using a shack in, in Pakistan or something. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's what so I was thinking. So it you know, can be done at Farmer's Field yeah, is what was, we're yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we're yeah. trying to go, we'll go down the value chain even to the big cooperative. Sounds so good. advantage obviously versus HPLC as you see we use 0.4 milliliters of solvent <laughs> versus liters you have to use for every run. Yeah. So it's environmentally friendly. Yeah, exactly. um, yeah. And again, it's, it's not only environmentally friendly, it's less cost as well. You don't have to get rid of the solvents. You don't have to collect it so often. You know, only like one. The trick of this technology is that what we do, the trace amounts of aphitoxins that are there, we concentrate it up onto a very, very small part of the cartridge. Right. Which means we can detect very small amounts. Right, because the, we're measuring sub part per billion, so we think the, low, the limit of detection will be 0.5 part per billion. Wow. And we've replaced, if you imagine an HPLC, we've replaced that very expensive and costly plumbing and mm -hmm. high pressure so physical separation yeah. with a very clever use of mm -hmm. you know, technology, electronics and software really bring in that kind of whole industry to you know the 21st century. 21st century, isn't it? No, no, I agree. It, it, uh, the first company I worked for was a flavor company um, and they did they used GLC and HPLC. Um, and the HPLC lab was an area you just didn't go. Um, they, they they didn't like anyone going in there because even people wandering around the room could upset the HPLC. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is a very simple interface that we designed. Okay. Uh, very sort of intuitive and things you used to. This is a redo. Yeah. This is a favourite. This is a kind of break. We'll supply a cartridge that will yeah. check the performance instrument. We've got play. Yeah. You can look at files. About 100 files and settings. Yeah. 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 So, which of which there'll be very few. Yeah. So you just open the instrument, it tells you pictorially what to do. Uh, you, then you would have a choice of what toxins, what, fo uh, what food or nuts, yeah. a choice of file name, and literally that's the start of the scan. And that's it. Yeah. And then what this is doing now, as it's been explained before, the cartridge yeah. is being rotated and stepped up fractions of a millimetre, mm -hmm. so that we read uh, the area where the aphitoxins have stuck to the cartridge. Well, we've designed it to be um, usable and workable, or to work in sort of dusty environments. Yeah, I mean, and you very can see, hot I mean, it's, it's a, you know, um, a compact unit. Um, it, it hasn't got very many areas where you can get into it, so I mean, it, it, yeah. you know, it's ideal from that point of view. You've got B1, yeah. B2, G1, and, and uh, G2 in the total. Now, this is from what we call a FAPAS sample. Yeah. And so, talking to your guys, you might not deal with FAPAS samples. No. But it's a proficiency testing scheme yeah. in the industry, yeah. standard certified sample. Yeah. So we've analysed that back in the lab by HPLC. Mm -hmm. And then you can compare the results from Toxiquant to what you get from HPLC. So I mean, you can have that. Yeah, I mean, the, let's the, just have a look. So the point, the 7.7 7 is point dead on. Point a, 2.1 is close enough for, yeah. Or 5.9, 6.2. Yeah. So that would have to be within about 10% of that. Yeah. Um, well, this. Well, in, you would never normally compare this to HPLC, no, no. but the fact that it's just demonstrating to you that this can match the reproducibility and accuracy mm. of well, HPLC. It's almost stayed on, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. not bad at all. I mean, as a piece of kit, now we've seen it working, it, it, it's, it's quite amazing what it does compared to you know, a bench full of uh, HPLC. Yeah, it's very and quick as well. as well. Very, very quick. Yeah. When you can get a result. I mean, now, this solution that I've used today, that is what you use for HPLC. Mm. Now, if you had a HPLC, we would be um, waiting until tomorrow to get a result. Yeah, absolutely. It's always an overnight run. Yeah. Speaking, like, now they feel back in control of that part mm. of the safety that they have been 
relying on external parties with no way to control for it really and they really feel relieved of saying you know for very small amount of money I can just have the peace of mind that all I'm putting my product is safe from this and, and we've seen in, in recent cases that these things get to the market so that they're, they're products that have to be oh. recalled and if yeah. you could consider the cost of a recall plus the reputational damage you know this is just a very kind of a small price yeah, to pay. So that recall cost covers a couple of years ago. Yeah. Bit of mm. fortune, wasn't it? Mm. And the reputation. I mean, I was involved with the Dairy Crest one, and that that was what, 5.6 million. Yeah. So yeah. you can imagine how easy it is to build into your kind of safety protocols. Yeah. Do you say you know it's cost going to cost you 10 minutes to test any kind of shipment of pistachios or whatever? You're on the safe mind. You get the paper trail. And on top of that, you can ask your suppliers to provide you the same exact files because it cannot be tinkered. Yeah. Uh, you know, you can ask them to send, yeah, you need to get this device and you need to send me before you ship to me uh, the same report. I'll probably check anyway, but if you send me the report, you know, you get a peace of mind that there's no way they can play with it because yeah. it's just, yeah. um, it's not like HPLC, they can use you can change no, the solvent flow, or whatever. Yeah. yeah, with HPLC, you can go in and manipulate the data to massage the results. <laughs> it's all about the interpretation and here yeah. the interpretation is done by the device and that interpretation is done by us, you know, our lab, you know, experts mm -hmm. in the field. So, so then, um, I think from, from our point of view it's knowing what's out there and then talking to our suppliers yeah, yeah. about what we believe they should be doing. Um, and this is certainly where far I'm concerned for them to be going. Um, I should be having conversations with, uh, with our Italian colleagues about, we, especially as I now know that Pistachio. Oh yes. Uh, uh, oh, very bad. Potentially very bad, yeah, depending yeah, on where yeah, it's yeah. coming from. Um, so yeah. I mean, it's certainly um, it's certainly something I'm going to be looking for out in the field now. Yeah. And I, I mean, obviously not next week, but yeah, yeah. It's something I'll be talking to people about when I talk to them about what I require in terms of information coming in uh, for my products, because I'm sure once that sort of information is out in the retailers. Yeah. Tesco's will be writing a code of practice that says we must have yeah. all our stuff checked yeah. for this, that and the It's about food safety. It is. And, and yeah. food safety it doesn't have a cost. No.